Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many Vue developers encounter. How can you effectively use SAS or SCSS in your latest Vue CLI starter project? Our viewer is looking for guidance after creating a new project with the Vue CLI and wants to know if anyone has successfully integrated SAS or SCSS with the latest version that uses Webpack. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To use SAS or SCSS in your Vue CLI project, we first need to install the necessary packages. Open your terminal and navigate to your project directory. Once the installation is complete, we can start using SAS or SCSS in our view components. You can create a new style file with a .scss extension. Next, let's import the SCSS file into your main view component or app.view. This will allow you to use the styles defined in your SCSS file throughout your application. Finally, you can start writing your styles using SCSS syntax. This includes features like nesting, variables, and mixins, which make your styles more maintainable. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use SAS or SCSS with the latest Vue CLI starter project, first you need to install two development dependencies, SAS and SAS Loader. After installing, you can import SAS files or use them directly in your Vue components by specifying the language in the style tag. For more detailed information, refer to the latest Vue CLI documentation on preprocessors. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To use SAS or SCSS with the latest Vue CLI starter project, first add a script in your package JSON to compile SAS. Ensure that both Node SAS and SAS Loader are properly installed in your project. Next, in your app.view file, include the compiled CSS file by adding a style block with lang set to SCSS. This setup should work for you. Happy coding! And that's it guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.